for anyone who doesn't know, fun fact, uh, if it's too hot, you can't sleep. Because your body has to cool down uh, when it goes into, a, it goes into mm. a sleep basis. So if you're hot, you can't fall asleep. Dude, I keep my fucking room like 60 degrees if I'm going to go to sleep. Oh, yeah, but you're a big boy. That, I can't girl. do that. I would, I'd be able to fall asleep, but I, I'd rather be a little bit warm than fucking freezing. Fuck no. Hell no. I would rather live in the Arctic than oh, fucking well, anywhere well, below well, Texas. Fuck that, no. I don't sleep anyway. I don't mind. I don't mind being a little hot. I'd rather be hot than cold, nah, nah, I can't. Because my, my thought on that is, I can always put more clothes on. I can only take so much off. Calm down, Isaac. I hate it. <laughs> you know what I'm referencing, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's my thing. It's like, I can always take being cold rather than being hot. That being said, doing like, you know, basic training and all these other things, I was okay with running in the hot heat because I was doing something. Like, if it was just hot and I was just, like, around doing nothing, I would freak the fuck out. Fair enough. Uh, I think everybody gets like that, though. Uh, meanwhile, I don't have the greatest circulation in, in, in my fingertips and in, in my, my feet. So if yeah. I stay outside and like, sorry, if I stay outside and like, uh, like 20 degree weather for long enough, I will catch frostbite. I mean, because I've dislocated and done a bunch of shit because I'm double jointed and all that. Uh, actually, I broke my finger, so during rapid temperature changes, my finger gets purple. Fun fact, I don't know if you've seen it. I've, I've but, yeah. seen that. I think the cat but, yeah, no. but yeah, what you missed is you're cleaning out totally a restaurant, not also a prostitution joint. Yeah. And, that's why and then these guys are like, fuck prostitution, keep our streets clean. <laughs> keep our streets clean and our women cleaner. I mean, that's a pretty good line for who they are. Because <laughs> they're Bleach Japan, baby! I'm at my basement right now, so it's always cool down here. I mean, yeah. Did you catch their name? No, I didn't. Bleach Japan. That's disgusting. I don't like that. Yeah. No. We don't give a fuck up with the black ones, though. Like prostitution. Black is beautiful. I know that doesn't apply here. It, it yeah. Yeah. I hate this motherfucker. <laughs> Uh, his shirt says BJ. <笑>で、そのブリーチジャパンの設立者がリオアオキ。青木亮。今の東京都知事だよ。それって町の浄化作戦をやったって。いや、that <笑> Or whatever the fuck. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Yeah, he's Tokyo's governor, and he's the one who first created Bleach Japan. And like he says, he resigned, but like always, he still favors them. Because welcome to politics. Yeah. Well, I'm getting, I'm, I'm eating good up there, if you know what I'm saying. I was, I was actually gonna say, <laughs> something's getting eaten up there. <laughs> Surely nothing decent. Hey, it might be decent food, you don't know. <laughs> You look like a, uh, what's, what's a nice word for virgin? Uh, virgin's the nice way of doing it. 
Sexless loser is one of the worst ways. <laughs> I was gonna go with cuck. Well, cuck's different. <laughs> cuck is the, cuck is they get off by not having sex. <laughs> Stop calling my hard workers. I love the idea of why did you register as a restaurant? Well, dude, it's not like I could put fucking prostitution den. It's not like I could put brothel on here. See, yeah, yeah, like. Yeah, Nigga, are you gonna pay for these children? Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, so you, are I you know, paying right? for these children? What do these children grow up to think of their parents? They'll despise them. Actually, no, in most situations they go, I understand what my mom and dad had to do. Actually, we know one. What? We know a character who's the child of a prostitute. Ichiban. You right, you right, you right. Because I was like, it took me a second. Because yep. I was like, maybe his mom wasn't a <laughs> No. In fact, up until this point, we know actually really nothing about Kiryu's parents. Because yeah. we know Kazuma. For anyone like, who doesn't know, yeah. for anyone who doesn't know, I've only played up to Yakuza Kiwami 2. Correct. Uh, I'm not sure if they talk about any other games, but... But no, the only thing we know about their parents is that uh, Kazuma-san adopted him in his little orphanage, right? Mm -hmm. And then we find out in Kiwami slash 1 that he created that orphanage for all the children whose parents he killed. Kazuma-san did, I mean? Yeah. So th at this point, that's all we know about Kiryu's parents. Yeah. Well, I, I should say, means, okay. at this point, well, that's all what uh, Antar knows. Yeah. Uh, and Adam is, like, real confused right now. It's because he haven't been here from the beginning, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, really it doesn't much. really matter. And another cool thing about some of these later Yakuza games, I want to let you know a fun fact. Mm -hmm. They have a fucking uh, options menu where you get to watch cutscenes from the previous games to catch up on the story. That's amazing. Because some people were like, man, Yakuza 4 just came out, but, like, I don't know the rest of the games. So they added this thing where it's like, yeah, you could watch nah. all of the cutscenes from all of the other games to get an idea of what happened in the story before you play. That's amazing. You like that. It's like how you play Devil May Cry 5, mm -hmm. and they have, this is what happened in Devil May, all the other Devil May Cry. Yeah, Cry's. exactly. It's, that's exactly what it is. But, yeah, what we missed it, Hi. what we missed there was... Uh, the woman here being like, hey, like, if you stay here, this will actually be, like, kind of okay, because, uh, if the landlord comes right now, we're fucked. Because he could just kick us out for no reason. Yeah. Because I don't yeah, I also here. I also peeped that, that line about, uh, the children being, like, technically illegal immigrants, they don't have anywhere else to go. Yeah, <laughs> this is literally the only thing they can do. Just hanging around a hamburger joint, man. They needed their food. Eat a dick. I fucking hate high and mighty assholes, man. There's too many of them. Uh.
I, I, I fucking hate... Okay, I take that back. High and mighty is uh, uh, alright occasionally. I hate high and mighty people who look at everything as black and white. Life is completely gray. Oh. That's exactly the point. <laughs> I'll leave you to enjoy the meal. Looking no. forward to hear all about this delicious oh. fucking food. You want oh, some crackers? Left some stale crackers? You want some crackers, man? Hundred bucks a cracker. Oh, you you don't like crackers? I have cookies, maybe. A little moldy though. Well, I wouldn't eat it, but it's just appropriate for this occasion. Boy, you take us for fucking fools? No, but I take we're you gonna, for an asshole. Not that. <laughs> we're gonna kick your fucking ass. Back up, back up. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Okay. What? <laughs> Oi. Soka. You're saying this place doesn't have any food? Well, what the fuck? <laughs> you gotta pretend that wasn't your goal from the start, really? Oh, 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 oh! He hit me, he hit me. We can swing back. I hate people like this. They get up Ooh. in there, antagonize, and then they basically are just like, hey, can you back up? And they're like, he touched me! He touched me! Beat the shit out of him! <laughs> all in unison, all them motherfuckers pulled out knives. <laughs> so, I will let you know also about his pyro belch. Actually, you're gonna see it right here, I think. Yeah, you can hit multiple people with it. Cool. I can't ever get the first one. I know. I It takes a minute to get it. Oh, he's bleeding now. That's not good. And it's uh, fine. He can literally heal himself with no problem at all. Oh, Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Amazing. Good job, me. Headbutt to Baraki. As we've said before, if you headbutt someone, do I mean, not did you do see that. him did you see him grab his fucking head? Yeah. He was like, ow, that fucking that. hurt. You dropped that next on him, bro. Wow, you you just barely caught the other one too, halfway through that. How is he a higher level than fucking? <laughs> uh, because in order to keep them relevant, they always come the same level slash one level higher. But Ichiban, because technically he's the main character, uh, there's some situations where they won't be in the party anymore or something like that. So he technically will be on the same level slash out level them eventually gotcha. but it's only to keep them relevant like if they're below or behind then they'll never be useful I mean technically they could bleach any color into white yeah, shit's fucked, man. Sadeto. <laughs> We mean that in two ways. I just realized mm -hmm. I technically jumped the gun on some dialogue, but it's not that important. 
of course Why you stay like here? That? Yeah, that, that's, I said that earlier, but I had forgotten that it happens here, not earlier in that other cutscene. I mean, you could have assumed. It's not that. It was not yeah. logic. I mean, it's not like I, I spoiled the big thing of the story. Like, Oh my god, Ichiban's actually Kiryu's son. Do-do-do. <laughs> <laughs> You know I'm only calling her Slim Shady, right? Because I'm not going to remember her name. Oh, yeah, I know. Um, also, look at Ichiban. He's not dirty. Yeah, his shit's clean. But yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier. What I was talking about earlier is legally they can now say they live there. And now the lease owner can't just go, hey, get out today. You know what I mean? That. And then on top of the fact, we can also get a job now. Yeah. But yeah, so actually it's a win-win for both parties. Because these two get a house, they can now get a job, and she can now have security and making sure that she can always keep that place, at least have a fair warning before having to get out. Right. What kind of stuff did you even have, man? Because, like, you showed up in a trash can. What did you have? I actually think he's just taking some anonymous stuff. Like, I think that's dead-ass what it is. Yeah. Because, like you said, he's got nothing. I'm surprised even though he was in a trash can, he kept, like, his wallet, his phone. Well, he was also covered in trash, so no one probably knew he was even there. True. Live in security guard. Yeah, we get actual futons They're just excited about a fucking roof, man. Like, look at that! This is my happy. The softest futon. Adam, since you don't know. Just so you know, Ichiban, our protagonist, has been in jail since he was 23. He's, what, 40, 41 now? Two. 42. He's been in jail for 18 years. And then had nowhere to go. He was homeless. There was a lot of other stuff that we weren't skipping out on, but I'm just recapping it to you specifically. If you didn't fix me up, I'd be fucking dead. I was selling drugs. That's how a nurse can get a fucking criminal sentencing, Antar. Yeah, I guess I should have logically came to that conclusion, but I just... It's not... I'm not... It, it, Basically, my brain, whenever, like, a nurse says, or, like, a doctor or a nurse says they got a criminal, like, background, I immediately go, accidental murder, like, accidentally killed, accidentally killed someone in surgery, or selling drugs. Yeah, 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 yeah. So That's it. That's it. My, my brain, have you, have you ever seen the movie American Mary? Yes. First off, fuck that movie. Second of all, uh, back, back, uh, back alley surgery. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Oh. I love this. I love this dialogue right here. Okay. 
お前さっき俺にはずいぶん簡単に言ってくれたくせに<笑>だったな Yeah, you're right, <笑> I fucked up Yeah, he was saying to Nan, but get another job. Don't be a nurse, but you know, do something that you want to do with your life. Have a goal. What do you think his answer is going to be? Astronaut. <laughs> 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 I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to I wanted to be a hero. That makes sense. Ah. I think he did actually say that at the beginning of the playthrough. Because what did he play all the time with the soap land? Well, Dragon Quest. Yup. That's the game of the game. That is such a rich laugh. Oh, yeah. I love how once he noticed that he's actually being serious, he goes, Oh, well, yeah, no, it's not that bad. Like, he actually, like, picks it up. People are allowed to dream, aren't they? And this is why I'm broke. Keep this music. It's a kid, bro. It's a kid, bro. じゃあ残ってる目標はそれしかねえじゃねえか。酔っ払ったのか？大体そんなの職業でもねえし。それは職業じゃねえよ。でも、make it straight up talk in video game references. Love it, love it. You fight enough mobs, you eventually get a level up. いきさまか。そうさ。お前なら今からだって成り上がれるぜ。四十過ぎて成り上がる。グライディングズはヤングマンズゲーム。成り上がりって生き様。いっちょっとと交わしてみっか。まあ、ミシバンちゃんのクリアは成り上がりって生き様